Uh, Netflix got some backlash over the password sharing stuff, which we've talked about a few times here. They kept leaning into it and saying, no, 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 no. It's for real. Mm. You best not be sharing those passwords. Mm -hmm. We're done with that. We want your money. Cancel if you want to. They threatened it for a long time. There seems to be a lot of preparation over it. And But people, once they've done something a certain way for a long enough period of time, they don't want to change. And they're like, what do you mean? I've been using my sister's account for five years. Is that you? Hey, man. <laughs> is that you? Is that you, Will? Yeah. And, and, but whoever it is, I think Vin was on my account for ages. Uh-huh. And, like, everybody's been doing that, and there was never, like, really an official line on it. And then they said, no, you know, profit margins and so forth. We're going to peel back a little bit on the password sharing. Mm -hmm. And then so a couple things leaked out of the help center in certain regions. Like Costa Rica was one of them. And people were like, oh, God, they're going to charge per extra account, or they're going to log people out, or what if I have secondary houses? And people just had a lot of questions about it. Yeah. Uh, that particular update that you have to live together in a single household or whatever the terminology was in the Costa Rica help center, uh, there was backlash to it. And people said, hey, man, I got a cottage or mm -hmm. leave me alone. I'm giving you 20 bucks a month premium plan. So they put out a response to that in which Netflix said, for a brief time yesterday, a help center article containing information that is only applicable to Chile, Costa Rica, and Peru went live in other countries. So actually... That update was pushed elsewhere, and everybody got a chance to analyze it, where Netflix announced that they got this paid sharing option where you would be required to pay for each extra person at an added fee of like three bucks a month, mm. which actually I'm looking at, it and I'm like, well, that's better than opening a completely different account. Sure. Yeah figure out like a proper type of family plan but it didn't matter they had the backlash anyways and it comes back to exactly what i was stating that once people have had something a certain way they don't want any alteration to that and they say you're screwing me you're screwing me so screw you and they just bounce and they go watch something else and it's never been more like that than now because people are feeling pinched anyway mm -hmm. people wake up in the morning they're feeling pinched and then they go now you want to pinch me well guess what i already been pinched and i'm gonna pinch back pinched out I'm, yeah, I might, I've been pinched yeah. out. And so they pinch back by canceling and, and going and watch something on YouTube, maybe a little later. So we don't have a problem with that. Yeah, I mean. Maybe they're here live right now. Maybe they just canceled their Netflix yeah. right now to come watch this. But there's so much um, opportunity out there, too, like other streaming sites. They, you know, Disney can just, like, be like, hey, we're five bucks cheaper. Subscribe to us. Yes, yeah, different is, market. This would be the time. I it's think. a different market, dude. Yeah. They're like, imagine another streaming service comes with the marketing campaign where they're like, share your password. Yeah, exactly. have a time. Yeah, do that. Share with the rest of your family, up to twelve people, and that would Everyone's be a huge. Clapping. It would be a huge marketing opportunity right there. 